What's going on team? In this video, I'm going to be quickly talking about the multiplayer in the flexible combat system. When a group of people play a multiplayer game together, they are all running their own version of the game. It's the job of the server to take all the information from all those players and share it with the other players so each player is seeing the same thing in their game. When a player interacts with the world, the rest of the players won't see this interaction unless it's passed to the server, then passed to the rest of the clients. This is something called replication, and the flexible combat system is fully replicated, meaning anything you do in the world will be passed over to the other players. There are just a few features in the system which have been left unreplicated for various reasons. The arrow assassinations aren't replicated as slow motion doesn't work well in a multiplayer setting. The save system isn't replicated as a save system will be unique for each game you are making. Whether you are making an MMO and saving to a database, whether you have a host save all the player's data, or whether you have each client save their own data. The quest system also isn't replicated for the same reasons. It will depend on the game you are making. If you are making an MMO, you might not even want to replicate quests, so the job is already done for you. And for a host game, you would want to set quests up in a unique way, so picking up, completing objectives, and handing in quests is streamlined for the game you are making. Aside from these three things, everything in the system is replicated and multiplayer ready. As for testing, you can change Unreal Engine's net mode and number of players to see interactions between players. However, watch out for this, as each time you add a new client, you are effectively running another instance of the game, lowering your FPS. If your FPS gets too low, it will impact gameplay on the client side and make it look like things are broken, regardless of any multiplayer functionality. Traces, for example, will produce less traces the lower FPS you have, meaning attacks will start missing. To counter this, I've added in a way you can connect with other players on your local network through the main menu, and you can host and join games as you like. For connecting to other players on other networks, most commonly people use a subsystem like Steam or Epic. There are many tutorials out there on subsystems, however subsystems can't be included in marketplace assets as part of the regulations, so you will need to set this up yourself. So that is a rundown of multiplayer for you. I hope this gives you the knowledge you need to make your next steps in your game development. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.